hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> my energy is low because like i'm not even going to sit here and talk about the former jerica because that match was as bad as it could get well i played badly this season but we should play better i guess Southampton, Aston Villa. even when Masti gave us 6-0 it wasn't even this bad and me this is just me ranting that like i i felt nothing especially after seeing the lineup which i'll put up after seeing that lineup, I just knew that this is a loss, you know. Like Brighton should have given us like six six one today. And even that goal that Gaga scored, like I had no reaction. I was shocked, you know, because like I didn't expect it, especially from him. And then just the way the game wasn't progressing, how we even scored, I don't know. God God in heaven knows that I don't know. So this is just me ranting that like I mean, I was not against Lampard, though. I was not against us getting Lampard. But it's just bad. It's, it's really bad. And the only person I blame, and I've been blaming in maybe the past two videos that I've made, is Todd Bowley. Like, and you will see that some fans were confronting If I was the one paying money to go and watch these boys, and they did like this, I would confront the owner. Tell him that you suck. You are the reason why this club is shit. And you have to take full responsibility because, like, you, like, what's the point of spending 600 million or more if I'm thinking of buying players if you don't even know who's going to be the coach next season? So, you want to buy more players for a coach that might not even want those players, and then you expect a miracle. Like, go and look at Abamovich, like, look at his blueprint, even if you don't think you can do anything, look at his blueprint, like, you can't say anything about him, about this off the football business or off Chelsea business, you can say anything about that, but as a owner, I don't think anybody comes as close to doing business right, football business right, club business right, as Abraham is, he was ruthless when he needed to, maybe sometimes a bit too ruthless, but, like, at least he paid off, like, every step paid off, like, there was no step that misstepped. There was nothing he did wrong. Like, obviously, he did some things wrong, but, like, he won trophies after that. So, obviously, that puts, like, a plaster over the injury. But at least it's better because you sack Potter, which I wanted, and then you hire Lampard to win champions. Like, I don't know who he thinks this is. I don't know who he thinks Lampard is. I don't know what he thinks football is. I don't know, but I'm calm. But I'm telling you guys, like, I feel nothing for Chelsea. Like, I even didn't even do anything on my Instagram, nothing, because I was just like, there's no point. There is no point, to be honest. Like, there's zero point. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I don't know how people can sit in front of the camera and lie or get angry or get emotional because, like, it's just pain. It's, it's pain for at this point. Like, there's nobody... Like, I want to insult. <laughs> There's nobody I want to praise because, like, if I start insulting, I'll get banned from YouTube. And they're human beings, you know, like, and it's so bad that all the players are looking bad. All. And they're looking bad. It seems like even when we are playing bad, he'll be the only standout guy. Maybe it's injury or whatever, but or, or us having bad coaches. I don't know what it is, but everybody just looks bad. Everybody should be ashamed of that much. Lampard should be ashamed of that much. All his coaching staff. Um, Todd Bowley and all his consortium to show be ashamed. The f directors of football that didn't do their due diligence in hiring who they should have hired, they hired Lampard. Like everybody, shame on them. This is good night because, like, I don't see any other points like being here saying anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to react on on camera on YouTube for anybody to see. Like, obviously, it's going to be fun for anyone to watch. But it's so painful as a Chelsea fan to watch us play week in, week out. Quite frankly, I don't want to watch that Madrid match. I don't. And if you want to give this video views, thank you. If you want to like, thank you. If you have come this far, thank you. Click the bell like button. Click everything. You want to comment down below what you think. Vent. Because like, I'm venting in silence. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm watching Master G. <laughs> Well, yeah, see you whenever you see me because I don't know if I will do a Real Madrid match. But yeah, bye guys.